Hello everybody and welcome back to my time at Sandrock where today we are going to go into the breach and try and find a condenser I think it's called. Oh first let's see uh, if I've got... Ah there's no horse today I might have to get a new horse. Uh, let's see if I've got the hardwood sticks for my commission first which I do. Oh it's also fang day today. Just went to see Fang. Alright, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not doing this without a horse. I need a week's worth of a horse, please, Coop. I don't have... I don't have a stable yet, and I do not have the room for it. Hey, Cooper. Howdy. Ranch part-time work. No. Yeah. Those gigglers, I curse their funny-sounding name. We are not so doing long, ranch... partner. No. Or maybe while it's a quest. Uh, I don't know. I, I hate that quest. It's terrible. So we can have a Yakmel or we can have a horse. I'm thinking a horse. Yakmel are very slow. But they have good stamina. So 1,658 a week. That is a lot of money. But I don't care. Come here, my beautiful horse. It is a week's worth. I'll easily make that back in a week. And the amount of time I save running around is so worth it. Right then, so... Who's down here then? Ah, Vivi, right. So you're having a wander. You're having your morning stroll. Hey there. So there's your commission. Mm -hmm. Just what I was looking for. Thanks, don't be a stranger. Workshop reputation plus 26. That wasn't too bad, actually. Uh, and then uh -huh. the chat. I heard what everyone's saying, but my takeaway from all this lizard business is that we need better security around here. Now, back when we had that other monster hunting fella and his son, uh, I apologize, Sheila. Best not to be living in the past. Uh -huh. Well, Mason lacked in manners he made up for in crotchetiness. He'll be sorely missed. <laughs> Nice. See you. See ya, Viv. Right. Uh, someone up here has a quest. Pearl's Piano and Fish Short Company closed indefinitely. Yeah, I can see why a fish sword and piano company might not do so well in Sandrock. Just saying. We need to sort those stairs out, don't we? They've got wooden planks across them. So I think Arvio's got a quest for me again. Is that Arvio? Hello. And by the stairs is having another dire emergency. You may help not again? wrong. Your timing is always so wonderfully opportune. Miguel's furniture has just came in. Miguel. What's he do again? Scowling all the time. Ah! Oh, must be finance. Anyway, <laughs> he's quite picky with his purchases. Fortunately, I have my ways of providing. Otherwise, he'd be totally out of luck. As always, delivery within 24 hours. Let's maintain our perfect record. Yeah, um, did you mention that last time? <laughs> because I nearly missed out on that. Right, okay, so again, it's something that I'll need to do quickly. So let's go and just, like, immediately find Miguel. He looks like, looks to be at the temple, which is uh, pretty much... Sorry, Matilda, nearly ran you over there. Pretty much where I would expect Miguel to be. Doing a little quest like this is a great way of getting a few points of people, so. I don't mind doing a quick delivery, but it's so much easier if you have a horse. And at the moment, Finally. I'm not worried about goals. Let me check and see if there are any damages. Really? Great, no problems. Where do I sign? No need for a signature. Such carefree service. Do you offer any service to help me carry it? No. Fine. Forget I said anything. Go ask Pen. He's like the strong man. <clears throat> He'll help you carry it. He's the protector of Sandrock, right? So, <laughs> I'm going to talk to Arvio and tell him we're done. Oh, I always miss that roof. Sucks. Be a quick way back to Arvio then. 
All right, so we, we're getting there with our quest this Miguel morning. Miguel was satisfied with his purchase. Ha <laughs> ha! Another perfect rating for Buy the Stars. Lovely. Right, so hardwood sticks for Ryan, I think it is. Hey, Macchiato. Doing my deliveries. Um, upstairs? Guessing. Where's Dan B? Is it for Dan B? Oh, okay. Ryan was in bed. Uh, because it was half past ten. It's nice that you can wake the characters up now because you used to not be able to and it was an absolute pain. <sighs> Recently it's just one lame thing after another. I feel like karma's out to get us. I really miss the old days where I could just sit around all day. I mean, I can still sit around all day, but it's like more anxiety inducing. Mm -hmm. I used to get along with Mason well. He was a cool guy. We got the same like ideas and stuff. We both thought slow work is good work. Slow and steady wins the race. Alright, here's your commission. Oh, thank you. Oh, you finished my commission already. Dang, guess now I got no excuse. Thanks a lot, I guess. So that was 66. So I still made 80, 90 works of reputation, even though one of the quests wasn't that great yesterday. So a big, big boost from the reputation from the ad. That will be what will clinch it if I do manage to win this thing. Right, so let's go to the Commerce Guild now, horsey horse. And let's take two more commissions, get them started, and then I can head into the breach. Not before I buy new stuff though. Sand hat. Ah. Wooden barrel. How do I make a wooden barrel? I need the recipe. Okay. Whereas bronze bars or would be just easy to do. But a wooden barrel might just take less stuff. Let's see. Let's go get the wooden barrel recipe. And go and have a look at the sand hat recipe. Wooden boards and thin thread at a work table. Oh, that's easy. Yeah, I'll take that one. 100%. Okay, so before I take any commissions, I need to check something, and that is how to make a sand hat. Now I've got my ta my tailoring table, and to make sure I have the recipe for it on there, I don't want to have to be cancelling any commissions, because that would put me far too behind. So we want to check that out before we do anything else. So let's pick up my tailoring machine. Oh, it's a perfect one, so it's got some extra nice stats on it. Might be a little bit faster, even. Um, I'll see if I've got some room for it somewhere. Inventory's chockers, so I will need to do a quick sort of it. I can just pop it in there, nice. Right, so let's have a look. Oh, that's the processor, no tailoring bench, please. Sand hat requires two basic leather, two rough cloth, which I can get from tailor made, and two pigments. All right, so I just need one basic leather, one rough cloth, and two pigments. That's easy enough. Sorry, Coco. I'm going to wait um, for Coco, I think. I'm going to wait to do t to get better stuff to give to Coco. So one cloth, one leather, two pigments, and that should be everything I need my sand hat at the moment I'm not worried about whether I make too much of a gold profit on it so we're gonna take sand hat and we're going to take wooden barrel today so that should be 70 odd but it might end up being more than that because of stuff don't know 
because of my ad, I might end up getting more like 80, 90 points there. Right, so let's have a look at this then. Sand hat, let's make you add some fuel. Uh, I don't have any fuel. I'm not going to put that much wood in. I will just put in enough. Let's just put a couple of bits of wood in. One minute forty. I might need to put one more piece of wood in actually. Right, that should give me just enough to fuel it for the time I need to make the sand hat and that's all I want to do with that one today. And the other thing was a bucket. So the bucket was the wooden barrel. I have enough wooden boards, I just need some thin thread. Um, so I'm going to need about another five plant fibre. We can easily do that and get that started. I always want to get everything started at least before I run off doing adventures. So get commission, start commission, go on adventures, hand in commission at the end of day or in the morning the next day. Right, so let's make one more thin thread and that should allow me to make the wooden barrel. I've gotten away with so much not having to get wood and do processing because of the amount of treasure chests that I found and pulled apart. It's actually quite fantastic. Right. Uh, whose commission is it for the bucket? Because I've just gotten that one. <gasps> I need four of them. Oh. <laughs> so we're gonna need another six planks i don't have six planks so i will need to make six planks that's all right it's, it's still totally doable and so i need five wooden boards which i have and this is why i didn't use all the wood to fuel everything up because i knew i would need it and then i want to make Thin thread times. I've got enough to make a thin thread to make two, four. To make another two buckets. I need another two thin thread. Which means I need another two. Alright, just another three plant fiber. That's like one bush's worth. Oh, yeah. Make me the thin thread. Build that. The boards are going to take a few minutes. My sand hat. I think it's going to be okay. It's going to be eight seconds. I may as well grab that and hand it in then. And then hopefully, as I, once I go and do a bit of uh, mining for the Equatorial Mount stuff, I should hopefully pick up some more, like, dregs, power stones, that sort of thing. I had, like, a bajillion dregs in the early access run, so I don't entirely know why I'm so struggling at the moment. Never mind. Sure, here is your sand hat. Hmm. Sorry we didn't show up in time to help you out. We came as soon as we saw the smoke, but that's not an excuse. You did good. Hmm. One time, five years ago, Mason told me, don't talk to me again, so I complied and never speak to him again. I'd like to think I've earned his respect, though I can't truly know, because I can't ask. Sand rock permission for you. Yeah, 57 points. That makes such a difference. Compared to the 40 points I would have gotten. That's the difference between me getting like 70 odd points and over 100 Thank points you. in a day. Good, I needed this for stuff. Thanks. So always make sure an ad is running and always make sure that it has reputation if you want to beat Yan in the first thing. It's still tight. It's still going to be really tight. 
I like having a little bit of a challenge though. It's quite cool, isn't it? All right, what else have we got going on? Part-time ranch work. Sounds delightful. Or going to the breach. Okay, well, I did say that before we went to the breach, we were going to see Hugo and I would get an upgraded, even if I have to pay lots of money for it, we will get an upgraded uh, set of weapons. So a bronze sword and shield. Attack 52 to 58. That's going to be like double what I've got. 632. She put half the price. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pop that there. And then I'm going to put some stuff away in my chest. Because I also realise I haven't done that yet. And if I'm about to go through a ruin, then I need to have an empty-ish inventory. Are getting there now as well. Uh, water, I don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. That's supposed to be for wood and stone. Hardwood planks. Did I just put wood and stone things in here? No, I didn't. Uh, power stone, lizard tooth, meat. upgrade kits so we're still not really quite on top of the storage but I'm a bit happier with it uh, it's mostly that's mostly food and things like that that I need my concealer I need my sword and shield I really don't need especially not on my hot bar be better off having like food and things on my hot bar wouldn't I Maybe hemostat, actually. That'd be a good thing to have on a hot bar, wouldn't it? My throwing rocks I kind of need. But things like scrap and metal bars and things like that, I do not need. In fact, the scrap, what I could do to get that out of my inventory is to put it into the recyclers. Gets yeah, two inventory slots sorted, doesn't it? All right, I think we're ready to enter the breach now. Having a better sword and shield is a big uh, upgrade. I don't even know if I can make those yet. So it's super cool. Ah, oh, Nemo, I had meat on me. I'm gonna say hello to Nemo before I go in. Wow, wow, wow. Can I gift you something? Yeah, I do have a piece of jerky. There you go, rough, rough. <laughs> yeah, rough, rough. So like I say, I'm just hoping that with the, uh, with the Nemo, <laughs> you can't run out of stamina in this area. Oh, that's nice. That's lovely of them. Cordana's Diary, number one. Oh, hello. I can only imagine this is a lot better than it would have been with the stone sword and shield, but they still take a little bit of taking down, don't they? Who are you? Nice. Took a little bit of damage there, but we're not doing too badly. Can't see anything sparkly or any chests or anything like that to get, so I'm going to move on. Giggler in turn. Giggler associates. I can see another diary there as well. <laughs> that was quite satisfying taking him out, actually. Um, Gordana's second diary. We'll have a read of those in a bit. Ooh, full heal down here. So 
This might be a good time to save. If you insist, I will. Our ultimate weapon is nearly complete. VP, take care of this. I've got one last thing to do. So this is this is Gary the VP. Right. Let's start off with the Geekly security guy. Don't really want to be taking them on while they've got their special attacks going, do I? This is a problem because they're all doing their special attacks on me. I'm trying to take out their intern. My right, intern is down, so this will make it a bit easier as there won't be like a million of them. Gary's doing his special attack. This is the ad gone. Okay, lovely. And I've managed to so far dodge Gary's attacks. Just need to be rolling while he does that weird attack. Basically, he turns red, you do a roll. It's very much like fighting... Uh, well, actually... Certain other, certain other things in the desert that do special attacks. I'm broken at the moment. Ah, oh, man. Break more off. Problem is, because I've got to dodge out of the way to avoid his special super attack. Learned about Go Giggler VP Gary. Stupid Gary. Is that a hand thing? Oh yeah, gather. Break boxes. Try and grab anything I can. Looks like the Gigglers are coming in through here. After I find a condenser, I should block the hole. Okay. Loads of stuff around here that I can grab. And also you don't run out of stamina, so anything that I get in here it's just free goodies. So all of this copper or Dean Ass and Clay is just like free. I like free. Free is good. Oh, I've got some power stones as well. Nice and data disks and things. Data disks are useful. Power stones are useful. Dean Ass is super useful. I might not be able to get every tiny scrap here, but anything is better than nothing. Stones for me. There's some... Is that some copper scrap or something? That looked like it should be something, but never mind. Uh, there's wooden boards there. Some more chunks and more boxes. Don't know what I'll get from those chest with simple circuits and I'll break down the chest as well and I'll grab these boxes and this wooden scrap this is a little treasure trove always if you can if you have time pro tip Always, like, salvage everything you can out of these, like, ruins. I didn't do that in the early access run and probably should have done. Because you don't use any stamina on, sort of, anything you do in these ruins. While it's still a story ruin. So if you run around just literally picking everything up, 
go in with a nice empty inventory with lots of slots that open. You get quite a lot of stuff for free. I don't know if I need to get a better angle on some of those little bits that are left over, but I'm not going to worry too much about them. We've got quite a lot of really good stuff there. No, I think most of the stuff that's left now is not salvageable. Someone's, someone's thrown there. Got to be careful of all the sofas, you know. In, in uh, Porsche, I got told off for not taking a sofa. <laughs> okay, after I close this hole, I better go and report to justice. Fill the hole and leave. Yes, let's go. I think we've done a reasonable job. If I've missed anything now, it's just tough. I don't know why this game always Whoa, insists on putting hey, curses. There you are. We were just about to come looking for you. Justice was worried about you. Uh, yeah. I started getting kind of nervous after sending you into the breach by your lonesome. And, you know, a couple of hours went by. And you didn't come to find me because you don't love me. Wait, did you say <laughs> Gigglers? And you fought them all by yourself? And then you closed the hole in there? Yeah. I see. <laughs> you know, Builder, you don't have to make this action hero stuff up to try to make us think you're cool. I already think you're cool. Yeah, me too. So you just take it easy out there. All right, partner? See ya. All right, then. Uh, they didn't believe me. So, yeah, great. I did all that and they didn't even believe me. Because they suck. Let's go and have a little look. I could maybe get some salt and do some sand fishing today if I have time, but we'll see. Let's go and have a look how... Oh, my wooden boards still have a minute left on them. What a nightmare. It probably paused when I went in the ruins. Alright, let's look at the missions. So we're excavating the sky still. Um, we're still looking for the buckets, but I can't do them yet. Yeah, me thinky thinky that it, we're just going to need to go into the mines now and try and see if we can find the equatorial mount pieces while doing lots and lots and lots of mining, I expect. Sorry, Peck. I'm just going to run over everybody with this horse. You know it. I know it. You know it, I know it, we all know it. It's all gonna happen. So. Let's see what I can find on level five and below. So level five, there are equatorial mount pieces in here. Um, it looks like from the quest there are three pieces. Also possibly camera pieces. I would love to have a camera. I was to take pictures. So let's have a look and see what we can find. Precisely nothing! I don't know how much of level 5 I've, I've gone through though. So we'll definitely set off all the explosives. Because that's a really quick way of getting really nice stuff. I will definitely grab this power stone. And I'll definitely grab all this tin ore. And I'm always short on tin ore at the moment. I tend to have a lot of copper ore because like you get it all the time. Every time like something blows up, you get another piece of copper ore. Right, let's see what these are. Any of these the equatorial mounts? Oh come on, stop, it keeps moving. I wonder if I don't if I don't have the upgrade yet to tell me what things are. 
Possibly, quite possibly. We just have to get everything then, won't we? This is a super interesting level. to look at the scanner. Oh, here we are. Upgrade device. Right, analysis chip. Shows an outline and name of scanned object. If we can get Ten of those chips. A super battery would give us more scanning time and things. A focusing lens if I get some glass. Shows a, an outline for a scanned object. Trap switches, treasure boxes and other devices highlighted. I want all of this really. Scan an area faster. Yeah, I want that. I can get that, so I want it. I need to make some glass though and bring it in. You know I'm going to forget that. But for now, if I want to find this equatorial mount, I have to dig up everything. Right, we've got piece three. Nice thing is, though, we are getting lots of stuff while we're down here, so that's always super handy, right? That was not an equatorial mount piece. There's also upgrades that I can do to the... Uh, I don't mind if I don't get it the first time I'm in here, because like we're going to get so much stuff in here. Gonna be unreal. Yeah, it didn't really do anything, did it? Where's the way out? Because it would be lovely to get to get level six open. That would be fantastic. couple of bits here as well. Power stones. Very short on power at the moment. Oh, I could have gotten one last piece, but uh, I fell through the floor. That's fine. Lots and lots and lots of tin in here. Quite nice in a way that I'm starting to get a decent amount of um, stamina to go and do these things. Oh man, okay, that was not the way to go, sadly. Try and find the way through. I'll find the equatorial mount eventually. If I don't find it straight away, I'll find it once I'm able to upgrade my scanner enough. But the other great thing about this is that once... Ooh, okay. Uh, I'm going to have so many data disks for research by the time I've done all of this digging. 
gonna be great. Equatorial mount piece one. So we are only looking for piece two now. That's all right. Oh, good grief, look at the time. Let's run home. <laughs> I can hand the, the uh, quests in in the morning and still be okay, though. Um, by quests, I mean uh, the commissions. Although I handed one of them in already, I think. Uh, it's just the buckets that I need to do. It's amazing how quickly time flies when you're having fun in the mines, isn't it? Isn't it a uh, rented horse? I actually do have... There we are, we've got the, the barrels made before I even go to bed. Perfect. So I'm waiting for diagrams for the hydro thingy. Hydro foil? And I just need one more piece of equatorial mount. I'm going to make 10 pieces of glass if I can. I did get a load of sand, so... Yeah, let's make 12 pieces of glass on that furnace. And let's make a whole load of bronze bars. With all the tin I found on that furnace. And then we'll go and read our mail. Wow, so many mails. Uh, okay, we understand the food situation is dire, and after a full night of discussion, we might have a solution. At the moment, food is 50% more expensive just because of the uh, Giegler attacks. Uh, come on down to the fireside tonight at 6, and we'll shed a little light on the subject. Okay, lovely. As promised, I have attached... Uh, I have attached the design for a new hydrogel. Attached. Right, build a she lab. We went into the breach and found out that you were telling the truth. See? We were so surprised. See? <laughs> we checked the hole you closed. It's holding steady. That's probably the source of the monsters. Uh, we've also informed Minister Matilda of the incident, and she asked us to expedite a plan to expel the Gigglers from the vicinity, as well as give you a reward for the help. It's attached in this letter. Uh, there are still other monsters in the deeper parts of the breach, but we don't consider them to be that much of a threat. So it will stay open as a hazardous ruins for you. So you can go get builder stuff whenever you need it. Builder stuff. Okay, so I got some dried sand breeze from that. So we need to go at six. Oh, you know what I think I forgot to do? Oh, it's Thursday, isn't it? Yep. I forgot to go see Fang. I am bad, bad, bad she lab. We will make sure we do that next episode. Uh, as I, Like I say, I will put the reminders in. And it will probably remind me, uh, I will probably remember a good, like, eight times out of ten. But there's going to be times where things are going on and I just completely forget, even with the reminder. So, uh, But I will forget every time without the reminder, so <laughs> we're still on a, on a plus. Um, I'm not going through junk piles as much anymore, so that's probably not great. I open a lot of chests, so... AXP for mining increased. Stamina restored by ordering food. Or... Sand trap stuff. The fishing. No, I think I'm gonna go with the mining one, because I'm doing a lot of mining right now. That's actually gonna open some more mining stuff. So yeah, let's go for that. So... Wow, that's a lot of stuff to make. That's a lot of stuff to make. A condenser and a hydrogel core. Engines, bronze blades, copper pipes. All right then, let's start making stuff, I guess. Let's make the copper pipes. Let's make the copper plates uh, let's go and see what kind of commissions there are today that's not going to be fast to make that hydrogel I don't think that's going to take a day or two
I'm considering increasing the size of the yard so I can get more stuff in it. There's a couple of things I need. I need to be able to make rubber tubes, apparently. Um, I also need to... I'm sure there were a couple of other things. Weren't there? Did I not need copper gears? I think I did. Bronze blades. Valves are intermediate. Desk lock intermediate. Gunpowder. I just get the firework recipes. Hundred and twenty five goals, but it takes a lot of stuff out of this list. Um copper wire. Yeah, that is something I could make, you see. Bronze rivets. Paint a water cup. The rest of the stuff's quite expensive, so I don't want to spend loads of money on it, but I just wanted to, like, make it look like there were less books there. <laughs> I'm going to take gunpowder as well. Just taking all the cheap recipes, basically. Okay, so uh, next thing I'm going to do is... Have a look at what I can get here. So, nine bronze bars, a sand hat, three hardwood sticks. I'm going to need a lot of bronze and things, so I'm thinking if I take the hardwood stick one, that's quite easy. And the sand hat. Because that will use the tailoring machine, which I'm not using for anything else. Because as it stands, I can't even start on and i'm thinking that that might be a really good thing to do today actually considering i've just had a massive like mining expedition and everything do you think that maybe increasing the size of my workshop it's only a thousand to get to level two might be a really good idea to increase the size of my workshop and then what i can do is i can probably have several lines of machines so how about we pick up this recycler Put the recyclers along the back fence and maybe for now the furnace is next to them I don't know if I can move the assembly table around the work table. I'm actually going to put over here. It's a position that I like to have the work table in, actually. Going to move the grinder. Over here. And the processor as well. Okay, now then, I have uh, hardwood sticks to make. I'm surprised I still haven't had that blender recipe back yet though. Maybe it takes a few days. So we're making copper plates. Right, okay, so what I want to see is, can I make a second processor? Now I've got a bit more space to put it down. Grinding saws, old parts, copper bars, and bricks. So basically, yes. But. Well, apparently, these need a little sweepy sweep. Okay, or, or not. How weird. They thought they did, but they didn't. Um, I need to make bricks. 
sadly. So I'm going to cancel out the... I want to make... Well, I'll make eight because I apparently need... Oh, actually, no, maybe I already have some bricks then. Old parts, two. Bricks, I have four. Grinding saws, I have zero. Let's make some grinding saws then. Put them in. I may do with two processors for a very long time previously so I think that should be all right but I might need more furnaces still and possibly more recyclers I think you can get away with like two of each of the processor and the grinder generally I may go for three we'll see we'll see how it goes um, but I can't even start for another 20 seconds on making my cob my sticks so, probably the best thing for me to do right now is to start on the stuff for my sand hat. And I'm going to need to go and get engines. Probably from in the mines while I go and look for more equatorial mounts. But I haven't found any engines yet, so I don't know whether they're in there or whether they're in the hazardous ruin or what. In fact, that might be a good thing to check. Which I can't do until I've got oh, I've put the bricks in from here. I haven't even got any bricks yet. Um, okay, let's go into my handbook and find out where engines come from. So if I happen to want to make a hydrogel core, it was an engine from the Uf Ufaula Salvage Abandoned Ruins. The Breach Hazardous Ruins and the Ufaula Salvage Shop. Okay, so if I cannot find them anywhere else, I'll find them in the shop, but I should be able to dig them out of the ruins, in theory. Okay, fine. Sand hat. Tailoring bench. Sand hat. So, two basic leather, three rough cloth, two pigments. You know I'm just going to get three of each because I can't remember which way around it is, don't you? <laughs> Typical Sheila. So, uh, so, yeah, three of you. Three of you. So it cost me 272 to make the sand hat. How much do I get back from it? It let me take um, the commission before I handed the previous one in. It's interesting, isn't it? I'm just going to give those into Zeke, but I don't think I should have done that. Get 355 back, though, so I, do make a, I still make a small profit. I am mainly doing this for workshop rep, though, because you'll get the really good commissions for really good money after you, know, you build your workshop up a bit. Right then, let's start this sand hat going. You probably can make the rough cloth. Yeah, you can make it out of yakmel hair and plant fiber. Probably a lot easier to buy it. And I can probably give this a power stone at this point, or even some dregs. Lovely. Keep it going for a little while. Want to check my water tank, 27, so we're still okay, but we could do with a top up. How's my bricks going? I got one brick, okay. But we can start now making the hardwood sticks. Uh, I can make one. Oh, I need to get more hardwood. Good grief. I've been here lollygagging. <laughs> Let's go, horsey. Stone pile. Let's dig through that. 
I always good to get some dregs for the machines. Two hardwood. Should be four hardwood. Probably eight will do me, but I'll I'll cut down three of these trees just to make sure. Three of these stumps. They're not trees, they're stumps. Okay, so let's head back and make our Make our hardwood sticks. But yeah, my place is starting to look way better than Mian's place now. There we can make two of those easily enough. We needed to make bronze pipes next, and then we'll make rubber tubes. Uh, I will top up the bronze bars as well because we may as well just be constantly making those. I think we have a few copper bars. I could probably once we've stopped making bricks and we've also stopped making... Um... Ah, perfect. We've got a second processor. I need to read... Oh, that was not where I wanted to go. I want my inventory. And I want my processor. We need to read Gordana's diary as well. Which we picked up out of the ruins. No big rush on that one, but we do need to. Um, I can never find anything, I swear. This processor. The processors are absolutely massive, aren't they? Huge things. I'm just gonna make, make basically lines of stuff. And my next increase to my yard will cost me 3,000. Probably not far off another upgrade to the yard. Although, to be honest, right now, I don't think I need it that much. I feel like what I want to do is uh, put the furnaces over here. I don't know why. I just feel like it would look nice. They just kind of fit in next to the thing nicely. And then maybe what I could do then is move the grinder over here. Move the processors over a little bit. I don't know if I'd fit a third one in there, but maybe I could. Maybe I could turn them around and that would help. Probably fit a second grinder in there or a second grinder just there. I will probably move everything anyway, so don't worry about it. Uh, I imagine the horse will teleport if I run far enough away. Sand hat is done. Bronze pipes are on the way. Hardwood sticks are on the way. Is there anything else I need to do on the processor? No. <laughs> Not at the moment. It's all on the grinder, unfortunately. And I didn't make a second grinder. But maybe I should. Maybe that's what we should do next, is make a second grinder. Because you can never have too many of those. A third furnace actually might be a really good thing. A third and a fourth, maybe. But I will do the grinder first. Because things that happen on the grinder take blinking ages. Ah, uh, more bricks. Okay. Already got some bricks going. So I still need another three bricks. No, four bricks. Uh, but that's the only thing I need is four bricks. And then I've got another, another grinder. So that'll be amazing. So that's the hardwood sticks done. So all of my commissions can now be handed in. Fantastic. And I've got about three of them to hand in as well. So I don't know why it let me do that. It should have it should have gone. Nope. You're not taking another one until you've handed that in. 
but we'll hand in all the commissions um i will have a look and see if there's any more little side quests to pick up but we are getting close to the end of the episode again the grief it's five o'clock already like how does this happen how how is it how is it that it takes so long no, that, that it doesn't take so long. The things go by so quickly and yet a, and yet an hour has gone of my life and and stuff. I don't even know. Anyway, Zeke, these are for you. Oh, hey the there. fireside as well. Repair the moisture farm. Oh, right. That's why. Hmm. It's a special quest. That's why. So I could have taken extra that day. Usually when it's a special quest, you are allowed to take them alongside, so that now totally makes sense to me. I could have taken three that day. Alright, let's head over to the fireside. I'll probably do it by horse parkour faster than the yakmel cart. Quick, 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 quick. Ah! I hate it when I can't jump places when I think I should be able to. I'm 45 minutes late. Hopefully that's still all right. Yes. <laughs> Made it in time. Simmer down now. Come on, simmer down. We all know the hydrogel crisis is indeed dire. We're all about to starve to death no no we're not calm down cooper owen came up with a plan Owen's and awesome. i think it's as mighty good as any you should hear him out owen thank you <clears throat> last night i sat down with miguel and the minister and did a rough inventory estimation of all the food we have in stock in and around sandrock it turns out we actually have enough food uh, probably to last for a bit but it's unevenly distributed. Get to the point, man. We ain't got all day. <laughs> right. So we'll use my stage for us to do a dance-off. The dance-off. Where you need off. to donate some food to enter. And I have prizes. You lost me there, partner. What the what? I really don't see the reason to dance when we're about to starve to death. Oh, there's so few people here right now. <laughs> The village is so tiny. I second that their notion. Without the drama. Uh... What Owen meant was since there are some of us who are more fortunate than others when it comes to food security, it is our responsibility to make sure society as a whole perseveres through this difficult trial. And he's trying to make it fun. Owen has volunteered his stage and time to organize a food drive in the form of a dance-off contest. Anyone can enter by donating some food. The church will help distribute the food to the people that need it. I'm really hoping the dance-off will work this time. It didn't last time because it had only just been added in and it came in on top of some kind of quest and it messed with it. But we shall see this time. We'll show our adversaries what Sandrock generosity is all about. Plus, it'll give our builders enough time to do their business. That made sense. I could try to track down some of that old world canned food you see in the ruins sometime. I could do some extra cooking. Meat. Uh, better not to make people's lives any worse. <laughs> oh, poor Grace. <laughs> My gum was just crazy enough to work. All right, Minister, you'll have your food drive. We'll be seeing y'all at the dance-off. Be there, be square. And by square, I mean... Yes, yes, it's wonderful to have you on board, dear Cooper. Now, what about the rest of y'all? Can I count on the good people of Sandrock to come together and make the first ever Sandrock dance-off and food drive a resounding success? Yay! Splendid. I'll be sending out more details via the mail. And with that, I hereby declare this here fireside meeting to be adjourned. Conserve water. See, 
What I meant by square was not necessarily the four-sided figure we've all come to know and love. So on and so forth, etc., etc. Snore. Ranch part-time work. Yeah. All right then. He will give money to pick up feces from the ranch. And I might do it. We'll see. I feel bad because I feel like I'm leaving Macchiato. Oh, hang on. Arvio, you are a person who I need to give stuff to. Could you help me deliver once again? I'm almost done with my backlog. So I oh, promise. No. I just wanted to hang the permission promise. in. Absolutely give you an Arvio guarantee that it is the last time. Fine. Thank you. Thank you. Next time I'll trouble someone else. For this is the last time to use your precious time. These guys are to be sent to Vivi's clothes shop tailor made on Main Street. I guess that Vivi has thought of a brand new style. Okay, so those are for Vivi. I will hand in my commission, which is the law. Thanks. Lovely workshop reputation 49. Arvio is now my associate. Lovely. Um, who else? There's someone else around here. Somewhere. Run, 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 run. They seem to be heading back towards the apartments, whoever they are. Or maybe up to the church. Oh, it's Pen. Okay, yeah, up to the temple. Hello. Oh, ho, ho. Hello. It's a shame I was on my brunch break when the lizard showed up, otherwise I definitely would have showed them my brand of justice. There is your sand hat. Uh-huh. And thing now, what did I need this for? Perfect. I took those this morning, right? Let me just double check. I'm getting confused about what I've even done now at this point. So let's have a look at where I'm at. So we're at the 18th. We have about, I think it's, I think it's 28. In a, yeah, it's 28 days. So we've still got one, two, three. Plus seven, we've got 10 days left. We are at 11.65. Yan is at 19.94. We need 800 in 10 days, which is doable. It is doable. It'll be rough, but it's doable. <laughs> I'm unable to accept any more commissions, that's fine. I just wanted to make absolutely sure I was completely unable to do that. So my best bet at the moment, um, I believe if I look at the missions, the reward for getting the equatorial mounts will be 10 workshop reputation, 35 for the moisture farm blues, nothing for the ranch part-time work, Delivery master to Vivi. Oh, gee. Let's see if I can find her. Jazz is there. No, she's gone to bed. Right, that'll be a first thing in the morning thing, sadly. Unless I can follow Jasmine inside. Oh, she's right there. Come out, please, Viv. I have 24 hours to do it, and I did only just pick it up, so I can do it in the morning, but I need to remember to do it in the morning. And my best chance at that is if I track it. There we are. So that will be at the top of my list and hopefully that will mean that will be at the top of my mental list. Let's go and have a look at how everything is going in my workshop and if I can put any more stuff on. Um, I think the bricks are probably ready to get my second grinder done. 
So that'll be a help. Yeah. I think that'll just need to go... Uh, that will just need to go down... next to, I think anyway yeah there is room there but it kind of overlaps the assembly table so I think it kind of does need to go there I'm probably going to make more uh, uh, I'm probably going to make more recyclers at some point so. okay so let's make the copper gears on one of them and let's make the rubber tubes on the other we will power with a few power stones lovely how are we doing on the water tank we're still all right i want to still make some more glass i have three i want another seven because i want to upgrade my uh my scanner in the ruins i'm gonna slowly go through and do that early game so that it's easier to do mining basically i have a point in social which I think social knowledge experience gained when socializing with NPCs increased by 10%. Let's go with that. Okay, doing well. So the only thing that we haven't really been able to do is to get Vivi sorted. I need some more basic leather as well. Can I make some basic leather? That'd be on the workbench, wouldn't it? Or am I going to need to just buy that? probably easier to buy it um then i'm gonna need bronze blades times two which i'll need the copper gears for which we are making and then i need to just go and find two engines in the ruins or i will buy them from rocky i don't know which i want to do but we'll see so anyway it is basically time for the end of the episode that was a really cool episode. We went and sorted out some gigglers and all sorts of cool stuff like that. I do still have books to read. Uh, I will read them maybe... In fact, if I... Does it pause? If I sit and read them? Because otherwise we might forget. So, Gordana's Diary, number one. Here we are. Papa said it was getting dangerous. He really believed that there'll be a war. I didn't pay attention to the news before. I should have. I'm still in shock. The power my sorry, my power pack is low. I ran out of food six days ago. I feel like I should write everything down before the end. Maybe someone will find this one day, but here it goes. I didn't go to school on that day. Papa's orders. I thought I'd do some chores and then chat with friends on We Talk. Around noon, when I was finishing my lunch, there was a boom and a blinding light outside. Then the ground started shaking and the wall broke in half. Our house was thrown almost sideways. I was so scared. Mama came running and pulled me into the master bathtub. The shaking and the booms lasted forever. Mama just hugged me tight the whole time. When the shaking finally stopped, our house was reduced to rubble. In fact, my entire neighbourhood was in ruins. Smoke and dust filled the air. Randall, our house AI, was crushed beneath the wall. Mama tried to call Papa, but the network was down. I remember an emergency PA telling people to look for help at designated shelters. So we grabbed whatever we could and headed for the nearest one. There really weren't anything resembling roads left, so we just sort of climbed and hiked across a ruined landscape. The shelter wasn't there anymore. I don't know where it went, but in place of the shelter was the art museum from across town. I think that was the point where it dawned on me that the world will never, never be the same again. The sky became very dark. I couldn't even see my hands anymore without a light. It had been a few days since the event. We still couldn't find Papa. Mama cried when she thought I was asleep. We met up with a few other survivors. There were about 30 of us and we lived in the art museum. They're saying that fighting was still going on around the moon and that our orbital platforms were all destroyed. I tend to tune them out when they're discussing this. I didn't want to think about it. Our group managed to gather some food, but we still didn't see any signs of law and order. It seemed like the government was wiped out. And then there's part two. So it was a few days after that that our group was attacked by two men with guns. Mr. Arby confronted them. They shot him. The tall one was telling us that they're the law now. 
If we wanted to survive, we had to listen to them and do as they say. How did we go from a civil society to this? A few men resisted and there was chaos. Mama took me and we ran into the darkness outside. I don't remember how long we ran, but we only stopped when we reached a tear in the ground. We didn't bring much when we ran. I had my mobile and Mama had a few ration bars, but that's it. It was cold. Not wanting to attract attention, we decided to climb down the tear. Well, it was more like a massive cliff with skyscrapers buried beneath. I didn't even know we had weapons that could do that. We broke a window to enter one of the buildings. It turned out to be an office building. There were a lot of bodies inside. It smelled of rot. Some parts of the body, sorry, the building still had power. Mama tried to log onto the net and contact Papa, but the network was still down. The cleaner bots were cruising aimlessly, probably disconnected with their all source. There were blankets in the office, but I still felt cold. We ran out of food a couple of days later. Mama searched the building, but didn't find any other food. Seemed like it had been looted already. Mama decided to go outside to look for food. She told me to stay behind because it was dangerous. I told her not to go. I begged her. Mama hugged me and told me to be brave. Then she left. That was four days ago. She's still not back. I slept away most of the time. I had dreams where Mama and Papa took me to the beach. Then I'd wake up in the darkness. I don't know what to write next. I'm hungry. I'm cold. I miss you, Mama, Papa. I'm sorry for all the times I caused you trouble. I'd do anything to take those back. I love you. I guess I'll stop here. My name is Gordana. That was so sad, and it was such a good um, look into how things were in the before times, and how and what happened, and how everything just fell apart. Wow. Right. So now I will go to bed. I took no time at all in game because I was in a pause menu. So that was brilliant. If you liked the episode, then please leave me a like below. If you would like to see more, then please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.